wanted to ask what your, because it, it's called the Max Potential Habits podcast. And as you just mentioned, you ask all your guests for their three max potential habits on every show. So I'm just curious if you can maybe tell us the story of where the idea of that as kind of a message came from, like why people's top three habits, why max potential habits, if you were going to have any kind of a podcast or any kind of a show, why, why was it that? I love, I love that you're asking this because I'm actually renaming it in the few in, in 2021 <laughs> and I'm not doing interviews anymore. And this is the fun part of pivoting in businesses, right? So like for me, when I started Max Potential Habits, and I had, I had recently before that started a, a co-hosted podcast with, with someone and it was really fun, but we decided like, oh, we've got so much other momentum going in our businesses that we're not going to monetize it. Let's drop it. So we did about, I don't know, 20 episodes. And then, but it was great because it taught me the basic fundamentals of doing a podcast. I stepped into Max Potential Habits. And the reason was because for me at the time, I was having so many behavioral shifts from shifting my habits. And I was so focused on mindset and habits that it made sense. I thought, what is the core principle of outcomes for people? And it's habits, right? Your mindset is a habit. Your thoughts are a habit. Your outcomes are a habit. So I thought, what's the, I always love to help people get from point A to point Z the fastest possible. So I go, we got to break down your habits. We got to look at what are your habitual thoughts that are keeping you stuck? What are your habitual actions that are keeping you stuck? What are your habitual feelings that are keeping you stuck? You know, and if we can break that down, you can become incredibly excellent by shifting your habits. So to me, habits are the core of all success. And so uh, that's why I named it that. And, and I was really intrigued by learning about other people's success habits. You know, I was like, what, what is it that wealthy people do? What is it that healthy people do? What is it that amazing relationship couples do? What is it, you know, like, I just was like, I want to dig into this and understand. And so for me, it was like a fun research project. And then, and then sharing that with my community, they, you know, they were into it and enjoying it. So I went with it. 